Welcome to Stirling. The Scottish city that's as enchanting as a fairy tale and as rugged as a Highland warrior. This is a place where legends were born and battles were fought and where every cobblestone tells a story. So come with us as we explore the hidden gems and iconic landmarks of this fascinating city and discover why Stirling is a destination that should be on everyone's bucket list. Located in central Scotland, it's a city that's steeped in stories and has played a pivotal role in shaping the course of Scottish history. From the Battle of Stirling Bridge in 1297 to the Jacobite Uprising in 1745, Stirling has seen its fair share of action. Stirling Castle The Grand Dame of Scottish castles has stood as a beacon of power and prestige for centuries. Its imposing presence atop a rocky hill overlooking the city is a testament to its strategic importance and the determination of the Scottish people. The castle has played a pivotal role in the history of Scotland, serving as a royal residence for centuries and even as a military barracks and prison. It's a place where legends were born like the brave knight Sir William Wallace who fought for Scottish independence and whose sword is said to be kept within the castle walls. It's also been the site of important events like the coronation of Mary, Queen of Scots and the signing of the Treaty of Stirling, which ended the first war of Scottish independence. With a history dating back over 900 years, this castle has seen it all, from sieges to secret meetings, royal births to political upheavals. Walking through its storied halls is like stepping back in time. It's easy to imagine the whispers of history echoing through the walls. So come with us as we uncover the secrets of this iconic landmark and explore its history and legends of Stirling Castle. Stirling Castle is not just a fortress, it's a masterpiece of Scottish architecture. The castle showcases a mix of styles including Renaissance, Gothic and Romanesque. Its towering walls and intricate stonework, every aspect of the castle's design speaks to the skill and craftsmanship of its builders. One of the castle's most impressive features is the Great Hall a grand and opulent space that once hosted lavish feasts and important gatherings. The walls of Stirling Castle are themselves an impressive feat of medieval engineering. Constructed from sandstone and limestone, these towering fortifications have withstood the test of time and remain a testament to the ingenuity of their builders. The towers and turrets that jut out from the walls provide strategic vantage points for defending the castle against invading armies while the narrow arrow slits and iron porticles gates make it nearly impenetrable. It was in Stirling Castle that Mary, Queen of Scots, was crowned queen at the age of just nine months in 1543. Picture a young, hair-free Mary running through the castle's corridors, playing hide-and-seek with her ladies-in-waiting. She lived at the castle for most of the first five years of her life, until she was moved to Dumbarton Castle and eventually to France. Despite the fact that she was accused of murder and adultery, imprisoned in England and eventually executed in 1587, Mary Queen of Scots is remembered as a strong and independent woman who faced adversity with courage and grace. Now believe it or not, one of the most fascinating things to see next to Stirling Castles is actually a graveyard. The Church of the Holy Rood Graveyard is located right next to the castle and is home to some incredible tombstones and memorials that date back centuries. It's a truly humbling experience to walk among the graves and imagine the lives and legacies of those buried here. The graveyard is also a peaceful and serene place with beautiful greenery and stunning views of the castle and surrounding landscape. Now as you wander through the graveyard, you'll notice that some of the old graves have unique icons carved into them. Keep your eyes peeled for skulls and crossbones, hourglasses and other symbols commonly used during the medieval era. These icons were used to represent the brevity of life, the inevitability of death and the hope of the afterlife. They serve as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of living in the present moment. It's fascinating to see these symbols up close and to contemplate their meaning and significance in the context of history. Rising high above the rolling green hills, just a short distance from Stirling Castle, is the awe-inspiring Wallace Monument. This towering structure is dedicated to Scotland's national hero, William Wallace, who fought and died for his country's freedom. He was a warrior, a rebel, 
and a symbol of Scottish independence. Wallace's story is intertwined with that of Stirling, as it was on Stirling Bridge where he led the Scottish forces to a victory against the English army in 1297, a historical moment that would inspire generations of Scots to come. His monument stands an impressive 220 feet tall and visitors can climb up the winding staircase to the top for breathtaking views of the surrounding countryside. But it's not just the views that make this monument a must-see destination. The exhibits inside the tower showcase the fascinating history of Wallace and his role in the Scottish Wars of Independence. The Wallace Monument is a testament to the spirit of Scotland and its proud heritage. Obviously, nothing compares to physically being amongst the graves or behind the castle walls, but hopefully you've got a taste for what's in store when you visit Scotland's Stirling City. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Please take a moment to write a comment below and tell us what draws you to Scotland. Have a great one and haste you back.